co-main event of the Good. evening. Sergei Pavlovich and Alistair Overeem. Three rounds of heavyweight action. Overeem is in the gray, Pavlovich in the black. Pavlovich, a former Fight Nights Global Heavyweight Champion. He's been fairly matched throughout his career, often giving away experience, so no gimmies on his way through. But Overeem really wants to kind of assert himself and show Sergey that the UFC is just a different kettle of fish. Yeah, Pavlovich has had some tough fights. It's worth noting that uh, he's fought two veterans, two, two guys that have had more than 20 fights, and but beat both of them by decision. So, you know, he does allow the fights to breathe a little bit. He's able to, you know, to work against guys that have got experience and still outpoint them. So, you know, this is going to be very useful against Overeem, who obviously has... 89. It's ridiculous. 89 oh. pro fights, K1, kickboxing and MMA. And still in fine fettle, just in great shape, really looks after himself. Big punches from uh, from Pavlovich here, backed over him up, who searched for the tie clinch a second ago, possibly looking to throw some knees into the midsection or bring the head down. Team Elevation want over him to focus on beating up Pavlovich for the full 15 minutes, not sit on his back foot waiting for the big shot, which is something that they identified when they were game planning for Curtis to fight him. I'm interested, that was Alistair Overeem that initiated the clinch. And given the fact that he's been working at uh, Team Elevation, he's going to be confident in his uh, in his conditioning, but he's also going to be working a lot on his wrestling because one of his main partners would have been Curtis Blade. Yeah, and he said it's, he has a very underrated ground game. Mm. People forget how many submissions Alistair Overeem's got on his record. I mean, I have 17 listed here on my notes. Yeah, I have the same. Nine guillotines, two Americanas, three arm bars, three, two Kimuras, rear naked. I mean, a variety. Pavlovich doesn't have 17 fights. No, no. But he's got nine knockouts out of, you know, I mean, that's that's a that's a high stopping percentage for 12 fights. It's been a minute since he's finished a fight with a submission, however. I think it was 2009. A little while then. Yeah. Still can't be underestimated. Well, this is it. There's a responsibility to demolish. <laughs> Good knee there. He's very, very good with his knees and the clinches over him. I often think back to his fight against Frank Mir, where he uh, he was able to uh, to oh, manipulate yes. Frank Mir's upper body to bring his head down for the knee. Beautiful work. Again, you say beautiful, I say disgusting. <laughs> disgusting with beautiful. I love his lean on a little bit of his uh, Greco experience there to keep the fight on the feet. Overeem far more aggressive in this fight, more willing to stand in front of his opponent than moving around, cutting angles and using feints like he's been doing in his recent fights, which is, I mean, you know, he has self-admitted it's not really worked out for him. Kind of feels like he needs to go back to the more aggressive kickboxer that he's known as. Oh, big right hand into a tie clinch. Nice takedown from Overeem. See what Pavlovich does with this. A different approach here from Overeem. Absolutely. Pavlovich is a difficult man to hold down, though. Although he did shoot in early against Francis Ngannou in that fight. I do remember that. Having more success. I think most smart people shoot on Francis Ngannou. <laughs> Over in averages one knockdown per fight, such is his power. Good work for Overeem because not only does this allow him to rack up points on the scorecards, but it also allows him to get some rest. He's not under pressure in any way in this position. He's able to land shots without putting a great deal of power into him because he has gravity on his side. Pavlovich is representing the Eagles MMA team. Obviously, that is the team for lightweight champion Khabib Namagomedov. Daniel Cormier was telling me that he doesn't wrestle like the other Dagestani fighters, but he's no oh. slouch. Oh, big shots! Pavlovich is covering up! Overeem thinks the finish is here. A big oh. shelling here from Overeem, and he gets the finish he's been looking for. Alistair man. Overeem writes the ship here in Beijing. Demolition man back in the wing column with that very accurate ground and pound. He landed a shot. There was a reaction from Pavlovich. He turned his head away. He covered up, and then Overeem felt that the victory was there within his reach. Starts to land good hammer fists. Overeem hands Pavlovich his first loss in mixed martial arts competition. It was a fine performance, a different performance that we're used to seeing from Overeem, but it was effective. And you have to credit 
impart that change to team elevation. Very, very good, good performance by Alistair Overeem. Clearly some, uh, some adaptations to his game from working with the, uh, the Elevation fight team. Punched his way into a clinch there, beautiful outside reap. Pushed uh, Pavlovic to the floor. And then watch this, I mean, he landed a few shots from this position, but once he got past one of the legs, he landed a beautiful hammer fist through the guard and immediately Pavel, uh, Pavlovic covered up. And then Overeem starts to pick his shots, going around the guard, through the guard, really nice. Let's have a listen to this. Oh. Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why they call him the Demolition Man. Yeah, like a wrecking ball. It sounded like a big old steel ball was crashing into a construction there. This time it was Pavlovich. Let's make this one all official and send it into Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Sharp has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alistair, the Demolition Man of Marine.